Of course, you've asked for Jasmine again. I'm happy to keep doing Jasmine as long as you want me to keep you updated. So it is playing out nicely. Patience has been the key for this one. We've been waiting for weeks and weeks on this. And you might have had a bit of a dump in the crypto market. That's good for Jasmine. Things are playing out exactly as I expected them to. So what's happened since the last video? You've got a few red candles here. Look, you've got a few red candles. Did any of those red candles worry you? Did any of you buy into Jasmine? whilst it was above the 382 retracement level. I want to ask you that, guys. The area that I'm interested in is 618. The area that I'm interested in is 26, between 26 and 27 cents. It's taken a long time to pull back to this level. It's taken a long time, but it's getting there, guys. What's the advantage? What have we got now? What have we got here that we can do that we couldn't do in the last video? We can stick a trend line. I said that this was important to put in this new lower high, to add in our trend line, and that's going to be able to help us track the trend down it's a simple thing guys where do we want the trend to track down to we want it to track to our 618 why do we want it to track to the 618 because that's the golden zone not only is it the golden zone that is the previous resistance which we want to flip support on jasmine this is the important level that i'm waiting for guys and i can't get into jasmine at the moment i can't buy resistance i can only buy support my strategy tells me so so i'm waiting to buy support and I'm going to be pissed off if I don't come back and test this 26 cents and get into my Jasmine position. I've been patient. I've been waiting. You've been patient. You've been waiting. Let's hope it comes back and does something like this. This is what we want. A test of the 618, a reaction at the 618, a bounce, a crack of trend, and then protections underneath the previous low. Once you've got the crack, you can get the protection. So that's what we want to happen in Jasmine in the short term. How can we identify whether this is likely to happen? Of course, we've got to look at the big daddy. We've got to look at Bitcoin. And when we had this CPI news, had this CPI news, Bitcoin started dropping, Bitcoin started dropping, and the altcoin started bleeding even more. You can see this with the dominance. You can see that the dominance has started spiking up after the FOMC news. Bitcoin's come back into trend or the dominance has come back into trend, which is bearish for altcoins. So we want this drop. We keep saying that we want this drop. We've had a red candle. We want to break down from this trend that we've been in for two years and then to reject from that trend to give us an alt rally. And the same with the USDT, guys. We're using this to monitor. And one good thing that's happened on the USDT is from this high here to this low here, We've come back, we've kissed the 618, we've rejected the 618 with a nice candle, which is closed below the 618, and a wick to show the extreme high was above the 618, price action is closed below. So that's a reaction at the 618, that's exactly what we'd want. Now we want a down tick. That down tick would show that altcoins, or people have got confidence to go into altcoins, people are going into altcoins, and of course when people are going into altcoins, then people are going to be going into Jasmine. So as this pulls down, guys, we can track this. We want this to pull down here. We want it to reject. We want it to come down. We want the same to happen with the USDT dominance to come down. We want Bitcoin to hold this level. And then about that time, we want Jasmine to crack trend. So there's a few different markets that I'm monitoring here, but things are playing out exactly as I expected so far. Now this trend line's in there. That's going to give us momentum. Trend lines are momentum line. Use it as your momentum line because what happens if it breaks here? You can still protect yourself underneath the low. It just means that you haven't come back and tested the area that you want to test at the 618. If it done something like this, you're protecting yourself under here. It comes back down to test the 618. You've got tight margins. You've got tight risk margins here. And you could still, because you'd be in profit here. You wouldn't be in profit, sorry. You'd be in cash here. You stopped out here. You'd be in cash here. You can still take advantage with a limit order of this 618 level sitting at 26 cents. So there's a couple of ways that I'm playing Jasmine. I'm waiting for my pattern to play out as I expect. And it's just a waiting game, guys. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. Let's see what happens. If you did find it useful, let me know in the comments what you want me to cover next. Don't say Jasmine again. And I'll see you in the next one.